Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shazeb, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Saito, the blockchain symbiosis. You're going to be liking this video, so stay tuned and watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, guys, then uh, subs do subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. You guys can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out as well. Anyways, guys, let us begin first and foremost with the price of Saito at the time of the recording, guys. So, Saito is down 1.56% for the day. Uh, yeah, let me see here. Okay, so the price is dollar 0.009727. Let us check out the seven day chart. It is up 11.51% in seven days. Let us look at the monthly chart, guys. So, in a month, it is, the, it, it is down 26.19% for the month. If you look at the year, guys, it is down 53.78% for the year. But uh, let me sh uh, share one thing with you guys. Now it is uh, it has basically broken this uh, resistance over here. Tried to break out through this resistance. Since that time, it has come down. And uh, these are this is a crucial support over here. This is a good good range over here. If it breaks it. So we're going to be going down and testing 0 0.009479 and these areas. But I think, I really think that it uh, won't be broken and uh, it might uh, break, break out, guys. It might break out and go and uh, test this, uh, uh, this high, uh, or this high that the recent high, basically 0 0.013. So yeah, but guys, if you look at the all time chart, guys, it is significantly down since it's all-time high, which was uh, approximately 0 0.10. So uh, a, a, a lot of room to gain if it reaches those areas, but it is definitely not going to be easy. There are a lot of resistance over here. But guys, the Saito community have talked about it. They are extremely optimistic about the tech and how it will basically help it to reach new heights and uh, when it gets explored and it further gets developed and uh, matures guys they say that this coin would be reaching billions i'm saying it uh, these these are the words of the community members that i've basically interacted with so you you might have your own opinions uh, but I think that yeah, it the tech uh, in uh, in terms of tech, it the idea is good. It is possible. They are basically creating a different uh, consensus mechanism, different from proof of work, proof of stake. So doing something revolutionary, innovative. But uh, obviously, a lot of things need to get aligned for it to break through these uh, crucial resistance lines and uh, on to the all-time highs, guys. But uh, if you look at the market cap, what was the uh, 100 million uh, approximately was the all-time high. And at the moment, guys, it is only a $19 million market cap. And if you look at the fully diluted market cap, guys, so, so that is $1.77 million. But for what Saito is doing, we're going to be checking that out in a moment. Uh, the community is optimistic to say the least, but do hit the comment box below on what your opinion on Saito is, the good and the bad, the pros and the cons and all of that stuff. We like to discuss all, everything, every side of crypto. Anyways, guys, I found a really good art, uh, thread for you guys. So this is from Crypto Carpenter and he has described Saito and blockchain and how it works really well. So we're going to be skimming through this. This is a long read. You guys can read out the details yourselves. <clears throat> so yeah, here is a Saito thread to help people understand it's an incredibly well thought consensus mechanism. Saito blockchain symbiosis, guys. There are more than one problem inherent to proof of work, proof of stake blockchains and others. So according to Crypto Car uh, Carpenter, there are a lot of problems inherent to proof of work, proof of stake. Uh, so Saito basically aims to resolve those issues, those problems. But guys, let me tell you one thing. Any consensus mechanism or any network, guys, it is prone to uh, prone to problems. It will be prone to problems. That is inherent. This is a part of life, I mean. Even uh, proof of stake, uh, 
proof of st uh, work, regardless of the problems. There are good network, there are good projects in them. And uh, Saito, even though uh, now, uh, according to Crypto Carpenter, it is resolving a lot of issues, but still, it is going to be having its own set of issues in the coming times. I mean, I look at stuff this way: there is, we have to, there are imperfections in everything, in my opinion, life in general, guys. So, anyways, but yeah, you have to resolve stuff. That is apparently what we do: learn from errors, learn from mistakes. So let, uh, let us skim through this, guys. Let's take, talk a little about the tragedy of the commons, the notorious 51% attack, and the free riding problem. Miners and stakers are incentivized to process transactions through block creation because it rewards them with newly minted coins. So when they get newly minted coins and slowly and gradually uh, the halving, halving happens and like Bitcoin's halving block rewards get smaller and so smaller, they do not get, uh, basically do not have uh, much incentive anymore the incentive uh, tends to drop miners have to divide a diminishing reward between them so uh, yeah when rewards is newly minted bitcoins is insufficient to incentivize the miners the only way to stay profitable for them is to process transactions with higher fees but guys those higher fees uh, we see that uh, these uh, like in ethereum's high gas fees uh, the, it becomes less attractive for many Furthermore, some miners might decide to stop mining since it is not as profitable anymore. If a big mining pool ends up with more than 50% hashing power because small players quit the game, then its sector can decide which block is added or not to the blockchain. So basically manipulation, pro uh, the issue for control, centralization. Uh, the free riding problem is when you get rewarded without doing what needs to be done on the network to continue with block Bitcoin as an example. When you mine a block, you get paid, but there are many other tasks that need to be accomplished for the network to keep functioning properly, like routing transactions, propagating transactions to other nodes on the network, storing data, ETC. Some miners might decide to spend their money on paid work rather than on necessary work, guys, in order to reduce their fees. Increase their profitability. Honest nodes will do everything there is to be done since they care about their network sustainability. Some blockchains cannot scale properly, so scalability is also an issue since miners and stakers get rewarded for a fixed amount of transactions being added to the network. Let's say consensus mechanism requires $100 of transactional fees per block and a block is created every 10 minutes. Block producers never need to process more transactions than the ones that bring that dollar one hundred of transactional fees. So if transactions flow increases on the network, block producers won't process more transactions since they don't need to need it to uh, need to in order to get paid. So uh, basically, everyone would have their own motives. Obviously, this happens. Like I told you guys, uh, even now when we look at Saito, so we're going to be looking at how Saito solves all of this. This, but still, it's going. The, the problems, uh, 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 the imperfections, the problems are uh, can be a part of any network. I, I mean, the, I haven't seen uh, a perfect network like uh, the golden network. Everyone claims that it is golden, but somewhere down the line, a few other problems arises, and people say, "Yeah, this it is having these problems." I mean, yeah. So we cannot count hundred percent on any network that it is hundred percent perfect guys we live with per imperfections in this imperfect world i mean <laughs> so yeah blocks are produced at a steady pace the interval between one block production and the next remains almost almost same so producers can capitalize on increasing transactional volume guys so how does Saito solve all of this? Saito solves all of this, according to the Crypto Carpenter, guys. Saito solves all of this thanks to a brilliant consensus mechanism that reminds me of the gear work in a watch. Each of its components is necessary by helping and supporting the system as a whole. So they have broken down this system and each of them are a, a necessary to keep this entire system running. If a small detail was not thought well enough, it would mean a hypothetical system failure. This is the symbiosis present in Saito's consensus mechanism. All the problems explained higher are solved by incentivizing needed work on the blockchain. So you would be incentivized, uh, for instance, you would be rewarded if you pro provide a good app, a good functioning app uh, where people are coming, there is traffic and all that sort of stuff, guys. It means paying actors for what needs to be done. Saito will provide value where value is. If you have value, if you provide value, only then you will be rewarded, guys. 
in such a context context no task ever becomes uh, less profitable which which keeps the network running perfectly running properly if data storage is needed a node that takes care of it is rewarded so basically if data is required the node that takes care of that is rewarded if routing is needed routing nodes are rewarded so basically you get rewarded by what is required by the network and not randomly due to uh, and not free riding like uh, crypto crypto carpenter said the mechanism solves the tragedy of the commons free riding yeah i talked about this free riding and the chance for a 51% attack due to the tragedy of the commons the scalability problem is solved fairly easily here too as transactional volume increases saito's mechanism requires its actors to increase transactions so the all that is also is resolved according to the crypto carpenter it means nodes have to accumulate more transactions in their main pool before they can create a block and get rewarded so higher transactions mean higher usage of network obviously a blockchain speed is calculated in terms of transactions per second which means saito is getting faster as network traffic grows guys so that resolves the issue of speed as well that we all we always talk about tps and speed and all of that stuff guys scalable scalable and sustainable so yeah basically these are uh those fees so uh, uh, let me show you one more thing over here i read it so yeah to pay for block creation fees nodes will use the fees included in each each transaction that are routed to them once block is produced the remaining fees are burned to prevent an prevent an attacker to accumulate them as rewards which would fund the next attack on the network so uh, an entire basically infrastructure in uh, which deals with the a symbiosis and fees and scalability and reward and all of those stuff guys those fees will be resurrected only if a golden ticket solution is found the discovery of a target hash value produced from form last block hashed infos guys awesome saito is a circular blockchain that can be linked to many other blockchains at the same time they can be supported by cons saito consensus and offer their utility to users while benefiting from its golden mechanism guys so this in theory at least uh, according to the crypto carpenter uh, this will theoretically bring a big traffic on the network improving its speed scalability decentralization this is why it is said that saito is the first blockchain to solve the crypto trilemma problem a lot of other blockchains and a lot of other projects claim that as well which we've seen so yeah let's see which one truly does that and uh, which one basically even resolving that is not i i mean if you do not use a network if you even solve everything if no, nobody is using it if you do not have, forge good partnerships so what's the point i mean you get you guys get what i'm talking about so this needs to increase uh, its uh, usage it needs to increase partnerships in my opinion so then if they claim that it is truly decentralized secure and scalable it is going to be a phenomenon guys there is much more under the hood for saito guys so uh, like i told you guys there are problems as well when uh, i saw this chatty gill guy uh, let me show you what he's saying i'm researching saito currently but i'm really turned off by by their token distribution 1% public sale it feels really rigged so these are the problems he says are there cto ban on the projects no support for smart contracts plan no roadmap for defi at scale less than 1% of tokens went to public sale sub 80 iq telegram community vaporware just an arc token coin website looks like a geocities page from 1996 <laughs> so yeah everyone then claims that yeah there are uh, problems i mean every project ha has them the good the bad and everything guys but uh, let's hope that uh, they stick around and develop constantly and grow that's what uh, good projects do anyways guys this was it for the video if you liked it make sure to like share comment and subscribe and if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems then subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell and you guys can also support the channel by becoming a patreon like i always say at the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone